This is SAT test 5, non-calculator question number 12. College Board gives us a rational exponent and asks us to find an equivalent expression with a radical. So let's write choice A as a rational exponent. A key root is the same as a, not, as a fraction power. So, so a key root is the one-third power. And this is not equal to 9 to the 3 fourths because 1 third is not the same as 3 fourths. So that's wrong. Choice B, a fourth root is a 1 fourth power. 9 to the 1 fourth is not equal to 9 to the 3 fourths. So that one is wrong. Choice C, a square root is a 1 half power. So that's 3 to the 1 half. Well, let's write 9 to the 3 fourths as a power of 3. 9 to the 3 fourths is 3 squared to the 3 fourths because 9 is 3 squared. If you have a power of another power, you multiply exponents. So that would be 3 to the 6 fourths, which is 3 to the 3 halves. That is not 3 to the 1 half. So at this point, I could conclude that D is the correct answer. But let's rewrite it anyways. 3 root. 3 root 3 is 3 to the 1 times 3 to the 1 half. We already said, said that root 3 is 3 to the 1 half. If we have powers of the same base, we add exponents. So that's 3 to the 2 halves plus 1 half is 3 to the 3 halves. And 9 to the 3 fourths is also 3 to the 3 halves. So choice D is the correct answer. College Board will typically ask you a question with radicals or rational exponents or both. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.